bon, ben, pour vivre l'expérience texane au max, on va aller shooter du gun. So we're going to talk about a couple things first. Fundamentals. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. And it doesn't matter if you have a foot back or not. So the stance, you know, the feet can be parallel like this, or you can drop one back. Either way, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to be about shoulder width apart. I'm going to be on the balls of your feet. Knees okay. slightly bent. Okay. Okay, that's your stance. And then your grip. This is a firing grip. My fingers here in the ready position. And when I apply my left hand, this situation, my sport hand, I'm going to fill up this gap right here with okay. this palm. So what I'm doing is putting my finger and my thumb in line with the bone here and I'm applying it to the side of the firearm right here and wrapping my hand around this way. So okay. this finger is touching the trigger guard okay. and then wrap this way. The thumbs are right here on this side. Yeah. Here. Okay. okay. Want to try that? Of course. So. Okay. Good. Now lift, yeah, lift that right thumb up. Take this one. Here. Yeah, you can lift it up for now. We're going to put the hand in that spot. Okay. Then get your thumb out of the way. And then just put your thumb down here like that. Like, yep, that's it. Like that. Good. Don't stand. Yeah. Good. So you got a good stance. You got a good grip there. Now the next thing is side line. What you want to do is look through this little shaped gap right here. Okay. And make sure your front side post is level to the back and that there's the same amount of daylight on both sides there. You want to have a look down there, find a spot on the wall. So you look through that yeah. gap, you see that front side post through there? Yeah. That little gap? Yeah. 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 Okay. That's what you want to do. You want to put your post over what you're going to shoot and bring your eye back here to the front side post. Oh, so yeah. What you're looking yeah. at is the target will end up being blurry. Your rear side will be blurry. This will be nice and clear. So you're focusing on this. Yeah. Okay. So at that point, when you're ready to press the trigger, you can put your finger on the trigger and slowly press it. The trigger safety, yeah, it is a safety. I'm going to close this. Yeah. You can see it's unloaded. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's on the trigger. Pull the side of the trigger. This little bar here stops on the plastic. You move that out of the way, and it will go off. Okay, perfect. So I like to say the best safety is the one that's between your ears. Yeah. Which works this one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which in turn will work this one. So when you're ready to shoot, that's when you'll put your finger under the trigger and go ahead and press. And when it goes bang, you want your finger to be flat across here. And you don't want too much trigger finger or too little trigger finger because this can push the gun. And this way you can pull the gun over and you'll shoot basically at a nine o'clock. It was a clock. Maybe at nine o'clock. This is gonna come over this way. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and line up your sights? Big spot on the wall. And press nice and slow and steady. Okay, good. Now leave your finger back here. Yeah. Take a look at it. That's pretty darn flat. Okay. If you want to move it just a little smidgen, you can move it maybe a more in the of an inch or so. Some more in the middle? Yeah. Well, you know, for your finger, it's more in the middle. For other people, it may not be more in the middle. Okay. You know, we use the middle as like a generalization, but the point okay. is you want your finger to be flat across the trigger when it breaks. Okay, I understand. So we're going to recite a line, recite a picture, and trigger control, your stance, your grip. Those are the fundamentals of the marksmanship. So if you want to play the marksmanship portion of it, you'll breathe and relax. While you're aiming your trigger, and at the end, it will be a surprise. Okay. So if you make that happen, it will be a grass, breathing, relaxing, aiming, squeezing, surprise. That's okay. what flying out of your gun when you shoot it. These okay. Oh, yeah, okay, perfect. Right? Okay. That's what we're using grass. So good. Well, let's go on in and give it a try. Perfect. All right. You can't do it. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll get yourself in there. Okay. Okay, so let's go again. Pick it up like you're firing. And you know, we talked about that. Left hand on there. Feet about shoulder width apart. Yeah, that's good. Front side level with the rear side. Front side on the end. Your front side. Yeah. Breathe and relax while you're aiming. Slowly, slowly, slowly you squeeze the trigger. Steady until it goes. You hit the middle. Do the 
same thing again. Now remember, you're doing it. Beautiful. Wow. Try it in there. Yeah. 
Definitely, go for it. Where do you hold, where do you hold it? Just remember, if it comes up too much, pull it down. If you can't pull it down, just let off the trigger. I'll try to do uh, more three burst shots. Uh, sure, yeah. sounds good. Once you get that figured out, then just keep going. Yeah. Just really where you want to shoot, Mark. Nice. 